what's up guys monster jam clutch 2007 here we're gonna make another video uh yes i am back um and uh, any updates for me um yeah uh last week there was no points competition because i had a last minute uh early birthday dinner and as you can see in today's title yes today is my birthday turning 19 congratulations to me um anyways um yeah today's uh package is from my my man uh tanya root himself um one of the goats in the community um i bought over 30 hot wheels monster trucks and we're gonna you know we're gonna check them out so first one on the list uh my favorite spectra flames ever is a 2009 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I used to have this back in Christmas of 09 and I legit love this truck so much. And oh, it's a great Spectra Flame. I really like it so much. So, yeah, here's a 2009 TMNT Spectra Flames. All right, uh, second truck. Okay, so there was uh, uh, some small hubs on this lot. And usually, whenever I see a small hub, I like to put um, big hubs so I can look 10 times better. But these past weeks, whenever I get small hubs, whenever I try to break off the tires, um, a metal piece from the axle keeps breaking off in order to keep the axle straight. And one of the small hubs that unfortunately went through this was a uh, big dog. Yeah, unfortunately, I had to buy a new big dog. This is completely my fault. And well, yeah, that <laughs> sucks. It really sucks. Alright, uh, next one, let's do a small hub. It's a great bike from 2004 or 2003, I assume. This is a nice small hub. My first time I had a great bike, really. And all, by the way, all of these trucks are mint condition, which I'm really glad to hear. So, yeah, this is great bike, small hub. This is pre Megalodon days, <laughs> yep. But, yeah, great truck. Alright, next truck is a Chillin' Villain. Yes, sir, Chillin' Villain. My Hot Wheels original that I really like a lot. Very original. Uh, it was like the pre-Ice Cream Man days. Chill, you know, ice and stuff. But yeah, this is a nice small hub. Very mint condition, which I will be putting large large hubs on this very soon. All right, next, let's do a 2004 original. Let's do Steel Striker. Yes, sir. Uh, one of my favorite uh, Hot Wheels original. I didn't know, like, when looking at this truck, this was actually a snake truck, which, honestly, it's pretty cool. Let's focus here, yeah. See, yeah, see that snake right there? But other than that, this is a very great 2004 truck at the latest. So, yeah, props to Homos for making that truck. All right, next one, let's do Sudden Impact from 2008 or nine. I don't know. I used to have this truck, but I gave it to the, to the Deegan Carson himself, Monster Jam Fan 0211. But now I have this truck back again, and honestly, I like this truck. Very basic, but very American, which I really like. All right, next, let's do the Felon. Yes, I'm not sure if this truck still drives with this day. I had to double check. But anyways, I really like this truck because, one, the chassis on this is black. And that's a really nice touch for the Felon truck. But other than that, I really like this truck a lot. All right, let's do a 2005 original. One of my favorite 2005 trucks, the Beast. Yes, sir. Oh, I call it the Mr. Beast truck. Yep. Uh, what can I say about this truck? Really great truck. I mean, one of the most uncommon trucks from 2005. These can go on eBay for like 20 bucks the latest. But this one, it's mint condition. I really like that a lot. So thanks again, man. All right. Next truck. Finally, I have this truck. A 2011 Spider-Man. Yes, sir. I remember back in 2011, my mom went to Walmart. She called me saying, Max, I found two trucks for you. I found Iron Man or Spider-Man. Pick one. I don't know why, but I said Iron Man. I mean, to be honest, I don't know why I didn't say Spider-Man. But 10 years later, boom, I got Spider-Man now. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy to have this truck now. All right, next truck. Let's do a, another Spectra Flame. Let's do Black Stallion. Yes, sir. Now, I never had a... I'm sorry, not a Black Stallion. An Iron Warrior. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but, yeah, this is... I really like this. Is one, this is a blue chassis underneath, which I never knew that. Other than that, I really like the color here, the 
chrome or orange. It's like a rust, like a bronze, which I really like that a lot. But other than that, this is a great truck. We I'm really happy to have this specific Spectra Flame. All right, next truck, another Spectra Flame. Why not? I believe this tells in 10 at the latest. Spectra Flame El Matador, yes, sir. Uh, I never had an El Matador before. I'm gonna look, I remember um, seeing these trucks back in the day at Walmart, but I never pick it up. But now I finally have an El Matador. And I gotta say, um, I really like this truck. I really like the Spectra Flames on there. I really like the chrome red. But other than that, it's really a great truck. All right, next truck. Uh, everyone misses this truck, but it's gonna release a Spin Master, so it's a good thing. So that bulldozer, which I believe this is the bulldozer from 2009, I assume, because it has the gray rims. But I, I, um, I prefer this. But I know the bulldozer, the Hot Wheels release. I like this one because of the, of the gray rims. Which honestly, I think it, that was that's that was a bulldozer in real life. So, props to Hot Wheels for making this one. All right, another one. We have another uh, small hub here. We have Sergeant Smash, yes sir. And I know they released this for large hubs. Which I do like, but one, it doesn't came, it didn't came with the tire in the back, and two, the rims weren't right. So um, I'm gonna put white rims, white large hub rims on this, so it can look ten times better than the big hub one that, that they released in 2004. But other than that, this is a great truck, like an army truck, which I really like a lot. But Saigon Shaker is ten times better. Okay. All right, uh, let's do another Spectra Flame. The early days from Spectra Flames when they didn't have the uh, when they had the red lines instead of the beat locks this is a 2008 dalmatian yes sir i remember i remember seeing this truck back in the day but i didn't pick it up for some reason but now i have it which honestly has to be one of my favorite spectra flames ever so yeah i really like the spectra flames a lot all right i have to have this back because 10 years ago i found this on my big lives behind the cereal section i'll never forget that day but i don't have i don't have my original truck of this anymore but now i have him back and it's the advanced auto parts grinder from 2011 yes i did found this behind my cereal section at my big lots it was unbelievable i was so happy um <laughs> but yeah this is a grinder you guys we missed this truck a lot when monster Jam used to call it advanced auto parts monster Jam. all right next we got a simple old gray digger from 2014 uh you know nothing special but hey it's a new grave digger Man, what can I say? But hey, it's great here. He's amazing. All right, we have another small home. This is Blue Thunder from 2003 from the old Ford um, body, which honestly I do prefer. But uh, yeah, this is Blue Thunder right here from 2003. I uh, really like this one a lot, especially with the old uh, Ford body. Learning than that, great small hub. And a small hub right here in the original one. We got Ninja Blade. I never had a Ninja Blade. I always wanted to have a Ninja Blade. And with large hubs on this, this one looks amazing. But other than that, I really like this truck. All right. We have a much right here. We got Bad News Travels Fast from 2000. God, I wanted to say 13 at the latest. Maybe 12 here. But this is uh, my first ever Bad News Travels Fast. And I know they made one in the updated uh pickup body in 2015 i believe but i really like this one a lot but you know i'm not a big fan of the mud trip itself but the purple body really like it a lot so there's one to you all right next truck let's do another spec i forgot that hot wheels made this into a spectra flame i believe this was 2009 this was batman spectra flame and i really like this because yeah it's black but like it's it's more like a chrome matte finish black and yeah, i really like that a lot and with the spectra flames tires and everything really a great spectra flame right here all right 2010 release i remember seeing this back in my wall but i didn't pick it up for some reason and it's the high roller yes yeah i can't believe how it was actually made this to a die cast because this truck was running in 2002 or three i believe i don't know when but yeah this is a great truck a little racist this truck did came back during the world final season but oh well all right, we got another mud shreds, and I really like this one because the purple, the well, the blue looks like a little purple to me. It's the 2010 King Crunch, and I noticed two uh, versions of this. Um, there was one with a different flag and one with the official flag. But other than that, I really like the body here that they made, and out of all the mud shreds I've seen, this is one of my favorite ones because I miss King Crunch. I miss this style of King Crunch a lot. It has been my favorite style from King Crunch. 
All right, I'm gonna make I'm gonna, I'm gonna get fun of this because the way I say I'm saying this, but we got pure adrenaline. Yes, uh, this is the most basic truck I ever seen back in the day. Even when I saw the episode from Detroit from 2009, this was the most basic truck I ever seen. I'm not saying I like it; it's just just the most basic truck I have ever seen. But I mean, it's not bad or anything; just a basic truck. All right, next. Uh, happy to uh, have this again. We got backwards Bob. Yes, we got backwards Bob. Happy to have a backwards Bob again. This is the 2012 release. I can see. It's the advanced auto parts version well other than that uh no the spin mask back bob's 10 times better but hey um at least uh wait this spin master uh, i don't know how my spin, spin master back was bob at me but i don't think it i don't think it said that here i come part but other than that great truck all right another truck i never had back in the day but now i finally have it the maniac yes who remembers the maniac i do i really like this truck especially with the right rims really pops up and the body itself you know very basic but i like the purple and the yellow and the orange and this part right here i don't know what that is but really great truck all right i used to have this truck back in my birthday of 2008 my uncle gave this to me and funny story after my birthday party we went to this other party and i brought this truck and uh I came back and I saw some kids throwing it up in the air and that was the last time we ever saw that truck. But, oh man, I can't believe it, but 13 years later, it came back to me. Black Stallion from 2008. I love this truck like a lot. Purple roll cage, the body black, orange, yellow, and purple and black. Really great truck. I mean, much better than uh -huh, Overkill Evolution. I hate that truck so much. But Black Stallion, I really like this truck a lot. Michael Vodders himself, really great guy. All right, next truck, uh, let's do the last small hub here. Yugi, I used to, I used to have this truck um, a year ago, but I gave it to my cousin because he's an anime fan. Ugh. But uh, this will look great with red rims, with large hubs. But other than that, this is a great truck. I'm surprised they actually made this to a die cast, which is pretty interesting. All right, 2010, we have, I never had this truck back in 2010, but now we do is the Wolf Finals Blacksmith from 2000 all the way through 2002, I, I believe. But yeah, no one Blacksmith, but I, I, I do prefer the other Blacksmith from 2004 through 2007. I'm not, I'm not saying, I mean, this is a basic Blacksmith. I mean, it looks like it wasn't finished or anything, which, I don't mind, but I'm just saying I prefer the other blacksmith. All right, the last Spectre Flame here. This is probably, this is 2010, yes. Monster Mott Spectre Flame. Now, I mean, honestly, what do you prefer? Do you prefer the Dalmatian or the regular one? I prefer the Dalmatian one, but this one is as cool because we got a chrome brown. I mean, that's pretty interesting. With the Spectre Flame tires and everything, this is a great Monster Mutt. All right, uh, last three are just... Uh, very special to me uh first one is a basic re release from 2006 i forgot they made us from a basic release and it's the pouncer from 2006 and as you can see it's the middle base one yes sir and yeah it's a great pouncer all right last two trucks are very special to me because i used to have oh i have one but mine's are my my original one's in bad condition but i'm glad to have this one so um first one i used to have this kit i used to have this truck back in 2010 because I found it on my local Walmart, and it was, like, legit my favorite truck at that time. So, it's the Pouncer, but not any Pouncer. It's the Tilt-Off's Pouncer. Yes, sir. I don't know why there's this thing here. I just opened it right now. But, yeah, I really like this uh, Tilt-Off. One of my favorite Tilt-Offs ever. I ever had. And I'm glad to have it back because I gave it to Monster Vans 0311 last year. And I have it back. And the last truck... We have a mint condition now. My other, my original truck, um, this is a metal base, but the front piece, you know how the metal bases are, the roll cages, they, they tend to snap, which mine is beginning to snap. But this is a mint condition one. We got the red maximum destruction undercovers. And this is a metal base one. There was a 2008 release, which was called the Tilt Toss and has a plastic base, which so need to find that one. But Yes, my favorite maximum destruction ever. Like this has to be my favorite one because I like I I wish 
fell what if you know make this into a real truck because you know it's a red max instruction i see right here it's the 124 and the 164 and like i just love this like the, the face right here my favorite max d face of all time but other than that you guys i just want to say thank you guys for watching and um after this video i'll be posting a vlog when i go to monster jam in glendale arizona which y'all see me there uh say hello to me and uh i really appreciate it. so yeah this is monster jam club 2007 signing out have a good one you guys oh whoa 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 hey 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 Oh, and P.S., you guys, I forgot two other trucks. They were small hubs, but I did turn them into uh, large hubs. So we got the Incredible Hulk from 2002 or three. Um, this with large hubs looks pretty awesome. I really like this a lot. But other than that, uh, one of my favorite Marvel trucks, I ran one of my favorite Marvel superhero supporters. We got the Hulk himself, as you can see right here. Really great truck. And the last one is a small hub, but it was from the Whiteout series from 2003. It's the Blue Thunder from 2003. And honestly, this looks amazing with the large hubs. I really like the blue crow on this and the Whiteout Blue Thunder itself. But other than that, it was a great truck. Uh, so, yeah, guys, Monster Cartel, I'm signing out. Uh, peace.